I recently made a post on X that authenticity is a scam and this was really polarizing. People had really strong opinions and they were like, what are you talking about? Please explain. What is this? No, you're wrong. So I decided I need to explain myself in this video because there's always more to these small phrases and the idea that I came from is that if we go away from the duality and into oneness and, and that's an experience I've had and, and I know what I'm talking about in that context there is nothing that's authentic or inauthentic okay I do understand that in this human form in this duality world that most of us live and and in this kind of limited consciousness of course authenticity matters and and it's a important tool but there's also some caveats here because especially i talk about branding and my context is about branding and being authentic when you're building a personal brand or a company brand that doesn't really help if if it's the broad authentic thing let's imagine that you have a new baby you're authentic with that you're authentic with a with a puppy a dog puppy but you don't necessarily need to be that type of authentic when you present yourself online and, and this is the whole point why some even some big marketers say that authenticity is kind of like this this weird thing and, and uh, it's a trend at the moment but what is it actually and and what is in authenticity everyone has their own definition of what's authentic and what's inauthentic but from an energy standpoint and, and we go back into quantum physics and, and deep into the science, we are all just energy and energy can't be destroyed. It can only be transformed. So can energy be inauthentic or authentic? I'd argue it just is. It's just energy. I get it that you want to understand the world of being authentic and inauthentic. But there's also a classification thing here that I think, because if, if someone says that they're authentic and the other person is inauthentic, that means that the authentic is better and, and the inauthentic is worse. Or is it? Does it mean better or worse? Or can inauthenticity be better than authenticity this is a question i've been wondering about in my opinion it all comes down to context and because i put a, a phrase out there totally without context i can really see why it kind of went viral and people got like upset and, and people had like emotions triggered that's kind of the point with with doing these short form things because that sparked me the, the curiosity to go deeper into this and, and explain myself. I don't say anything is wrong or that people have the, a wrong opinion. I just say that I come from a really broad perspective and, and go back to the fundamentals, to the, to the energy level. And that's like how far science has come at the moment. And I believe in that. Also, if you've done psychedelics like LSD, psilocybin, DMT, you might have that experience of this oneness and, and where all the borders and everything, like the senses mixed together and stuff like that. That's where the idea came from, from that context. And I think it's important to, to talk about this because a lot of people even their self-awareness isn't that high and they might go out there and, and be like, yeah, this is the authentic me, but is it really? Is it really the authentic you that you are 
when you're alone, your darkest, darkest secrets, your shadows? I doubt it. And I even come across a video online that talked about people only share 90% of what happens in their life. And the top 5% they leave out and the, the bottom 5% you leave out. But if you're authentic, shouldn't you share everything? So it doesn't make sense to me that people say like, yeah, you just need to be authentic. People, people yearn for authenticity. That's the new value. That's authenticity. But what is it? And if it's different for everyone, how can we know what it is? And that was the whole point why I said authenticity is a scam just to make people think more about it and be like, oh, have you ever thought about the whole picture? Like the context? And even if we go back to when we're born, we're authentic, right? But we're unprogrammed also. So can it be that your authentic version is a programming of something? And what if you decode that programming you unlearn are you inauthentic because you said a year ago that you were authentic and if you change are you then inauthentic i think this is a really tricky thing and i don't believe there is one correct answer and this is exactly the point why i want to talk about it because Humans are too complex. Life is too complex to put into one sentence to have like, this is how it is. Yeah, but what if? And I like to think of life like a cake. I have this cake theory and there's different perspectives and, and all of those perspectives, all of those similar real perspectives can coexist simultaneously and and this is kind of the whole point and i've i've seen this one guy robert grant he's like this mathematician and he's decoding like consciousness and stuff like that and he says that the universe is actually you inverse and this is also why self-awareness and and doing the internal work has so much to do with your external world and I know this can be like totally off limits and totally like off the charge for people, but I like to explore these ideas because I don't want to cage in and, and say that something can't be or can be, you know? I wanted to spark the conversation about this authenticity thing because I believe that even if you're faking it, that's authentic faking. So how can that be inauthentic? It has to have a context. Authenticity needs to have a definition, a certain fact, what it is for us to being able to evaluate. It has to have a viewpoint from where it stands because authenticity just floating around doesn't really mean anything like everything else doesn't mean anything if there isn't any context and i've made a video about context i can link it up here once you understand this you understand that oh your programming and your own internal beliefs is usually the context from how you understand things and this is why people get triggered by authenticity is a scam because they're like no i live an authentic life you just challenge me and i want to know why well i'm happy i did because i think people should challenge other people's opinions and thought patterns more because that actually makes them grow so you're welcome and if we want to play this game of what is authentic how can a human be as authentic as possible and and the answer i came up with is when you are completely still and you do nothing and you're in the moment i don't believe there's anything more authentic in our life in our consciousness than being present in the moment without doing anything so life 
the only thing that makes life authentic is that we live it, that we experience it. Otherwise, life could be inauthentic. Does this make sense? And I really hope this triggers some ideas in you. And I would love to discuss more of this because in my perspective, this is the really interesting parts of, of life. And uh, like this video if you liked it and, and comment what you think. It, it can really help spread the awareness of, of this idea. And uh, we can go back and forth. That would be cool. Okay? My name is Mitz. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one. Stay authentic or inauthentic, right? Does it matter? Peace.